This is just to say, it ain't nobody's business. I have eaten the plums that were in the icebox, and which you were saying probably for breakfast. This is just to say, I've been playing on my Nintendo DS and my PS2. All night long like a teenager back in the 90s. I know how you love sleeping. My PS2 loves making noise. I have an exam tomorrow. Oh, please forgive me. Birth. Dark. Factory. Noise. The smell of polish. The unbearable taste of the female flesh and the female semen. The unbearable sight of it. Peer pressure. Personal gain. Record the video of it. Stay out of it. Stop the fight yourself. Watch the fight. I would walk away. I was walking down Evelyn Street. And then I saw along around. And then I realized there was a fight going on. I wanted to stop it. But I'm sure I've known that guy before. I fell down, but shockingly, no one helped me. So basically, someone beat me up. Emotionally. It ain't nobody's business, you her. They picked me up one morning, beat me down hard like a fucking bride, but in the form of Kevin Hart and, and they stuffed me down in a waiting jeep. What business of mine is it? So long they don't take the couscous from my mouth-watering mouth. They came one night, booted the whole house awake, and dragged Baba Tunde out, then off to a lengthy absence. What business of mine is it? So long they don't take the curry goat from my mouth filled with sugar-sweet chocolate-flavoured elixir. Someone went to school one day. Not only to find education, but to find me sitting on the toilet with my eyes widened and in usual silence. From that moment on, I thought, was it all true? Or am I just talking nonsense?